The institution here means a lot more for the community that participate in it than larger institutions do as almost isolated towns. The Big Tens that I have gone to appear to operate as islands, whereas this institution seems to be like, I don't know, like leaves of grass. <laughs> Everybody is kind of connected through these large strands and there's a sort of center point for all of us when we follow route, a particular route back and it all brings us back to Northeastern. We either go to the Bryn Mawr Breakfast Club, we either go to uh, Bon Steuben up the street, we either take the CTA up all the way on Kimball, we come up from the north side on Schaumburg, we come from the south side in, on, on 47th Street, but in the various routes that are these, I don't know, people represented as leaves of grass, we can always follow a route back here because it kind of feels like Northeastern is a hub for Chicago's, I don't know if you want to call it hungry students, and hungry may, may, be a, may not be the most appropriate word, but there is a sort of, there is a, this community builds a bunch of super intelligent people because it is built in an area that is diverse in its economic structure and its race relations and its gender dynamics that when we filter through uh, Northeastern, it's always kind of there. It's always kind of been there. It's, it's, it, 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 and, and it serves, it almost seems like, a, it's, it's almost like a rite of passage to go through Northeastern in a way that it doesn't feel like it in the big top tens. It feels like the top tens, you have to earn it to be there. And Northeastern says, come on in, um, whoever you are. <laughs> and it is in that sort of generosity and openness that geniuses are built here. <laughs>